Hello and welcome once again, uh, dear brothers and sisters. This is Kindama uh, on microphone here. We are on our way back to Luanda. Um, this video here is more in Portuguese, but uh, I'll put uh, some translation if possible to see exactly what I'm talking to the ladies here on the market. We are our way to market, um, which we left Luanda. I told you in previous video that when we go back to Luanda, we'll be able to uh, buy uh, some stuff here. Yes, now we're here uh, and trying to, yeah, to buy some of this local production, you know, of the, this food here. As I told you that uh, the people around here, uh, they produce a lot. This is the minimum they can do is to sell here on the market and to, to wait people uh, passing through in order to buy uh, some of the things here. Yeah, now here they told me that uh, this amount is 4,000 uh, Kwanzaa. I can really not put it in, um, in, uh, in how much in, 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 uh, in American dollar because Kwanzaa, uh, which is the money in, in Angola, is kind of fluctuating just rapidly. Uh, from the time this video is being shot, uh, edited and uploaded here on Facebook, on YouTube, then it will suddenly will be different, you know, uh, price on market. And, and it's very difficult to see exactly how much it costs one dollar. I mean, five, five, five dollars. It could be one, uh, five Kwanzaa, sorry. It could be um, uh, one dollar, two dollars. So it's really, really, really difficult uh, because we have got a huge problem on this, um, on this, uh, how to call it, uh, on this uh, currency. But um, yeah, we're going to be here um, shopping a little bit, uh, see if uh, um, we can have some food uh, to um, to way back home. But here also you have to kind of negotiate to uh, with the women when you are shopping to see exactly how. Um, yeah, they can can they can give you you know give you discount. That's it. They can give you discount on on, on the product. Um, so that's a nice process of uh, dealing with the women here. So I like to buy some um, peanuts uh, because I love really love peanuts. Um, yeah. So we'll have one bucket of peanuts. <laughs> here I'm complaining or asking if this bin is really uh, produced here in, in, in locally or uh, was imported but the ladies really uh, assured me that uh, yes it bin is locally produced um, so I'll have like uh, 10 kilos of beans um, yeah Well, so the ladies also helpful here try to make sure that they use two plastic bag uh, in order to save uh, the food not uh, fall apart because this plastic bag is not that uh, stronger. But uh, well, one of the things as well, which is I um, really don't recommend, and which we are trying to do some campaign to the Angolan government, is to stop. Uh, people or the government use these bags here, which is really, really bad for the environment. And then if you see how is uh, Angola, uh, right now is really bad. I've been going in many African countries, uh, which you find that uh, uh, is a huge problem with these plastic bags. Um, and, and if we don't do it, something then it will be really uh, catastrophic so look at this uh, we've got uh, oranges here uh, this is uh, one on the bottles here the honey 
um, yeah. One of the things well here on this natural hunting is not, it's not like a, how to call it, uh, industrial. You know, or in the not industrialized. This is all the way from the tree, straight to this bottle here, and straight to consumption. And this kind of um, the hunting, the um, how to call it, yeah, it's pure in the test test really really good test naturally um, compared to many of this um, uh, of this uh, <laughs> yeah here it's kind of crazy to see how this uh, uh, the women's always every time pass one every time pass a car they have to scream shouting who or whom they chose if two or three people in the car they have to choose that uh, i this i need to sell my stuff to the driver or the passenger uh you know uh, as i was saying the just be before i talk this sweet potatoes here i will just go back to um, to hunting is uh, the, the 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 taste of that hunting is really really nice because you feel it and when you when you when you're eating that i mean it's, you feel it, that's really 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 nice um yeah also here i had to buy potatoes uh that is really um uh, nice to have potatoes uh, i love sweet potatoes i mean you cannot describe how sweet potato is i eat you know uh, sweet potatoes in in europe when you buy sweet potatoes in, uh, in in Denmark, Sweden, Norway, or I mean all these Scandinavian countries, which I always travel to most of the time, is catastrophic. I mean that is way, way too bad. Uh, here, let's uh, I decide to to buy um, what do you call it? Uh, it's a yucca. They call it. Uh, in, 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 in South America, uh, in Angola, in Portuguese is mandioca, you know, which is uh, 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 cassava, all right. And then this is also nice with 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 uh, uh, peanuts. Oh shit, that's so so good. And, and and the production is um, it takes some it takes some because it goes to to the ground. Is this is the the, the um, how to call it the one I mentioned on uh, other videos about this uh, product here? But also can uh, try to uh, to put you a video if possible uh, when I will be editing. <laughs> this this pregnant woman here, so sweet. She was always after, you know, she wanted to for me to buy her product because uh, when 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 we arrived there, she is the one already said, I will be with the passenger seat uh, guy to sell him the product and she insisted a lot for me to buy um, which eventually yes I had to buy uh, stuff from her um, <clears throat> yeah here is just uh, going shopping few how it is so, so many things here tomatoes uh, it will change. Um, like somebody would like to sell me more uh, bags in order to put the stuff. Oh. Well, it was not it was not the purpose for me to put it, the camera straight in her belly, but we were negotiating here and something, and then just pointed camera on her while I was talking to to, to a woman, 
and yeah, I just end up spending you know a couple of minutes on a on a uh, belly. I hope the baby's out already. Uh, I think already. He's, this is sometime uh, the video I shot. So um, yeah, really nice. Let's come another one. Would like to sell me something else of uh, 500? I think it's tomato. Give some change, some money. Here comes my brother. So, all in all, I had to. Here, the ladies insist for me to buy everything. I mean, they want us to buy everything. I bought this, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's time for loading everything in the car. Yours is just in one bag. No, I also got this piece here. I put it on the side. No, but not now. But I'm going to show you how to say it. Yeah, the lady was really kind of pissed off because I didn't bought a thing. Well, you can see, sir, want me to buy bananas? No, I said. Well, if you can see on other side, I mean, all these buckets of tomatoes, it's such a be beautiful to see all these colors. Uh, really, really beautiful. I really love to see all these colors over there. See onions, tomatoes, uh, I mean, oranges, potatoes, bananas. It's so much this, this, this country can produce, but without the vision, there is no vision to the leaders in this country. There's a lack of vision, you know? The only idea, the only, um, how to call it, uh, what they want at the moment is just money on hand, cash, oil. But they don't know that oil any moment will go down the price this the amount of the price that was from 1780s a barrel like a 50 70 or 100 um, dollar per belly barrel will not be the same in future because there's so many ways now people or the countries are trying to be sustainable i know it will be used oil still in many many years to come but it will not be the same amount of price 
And then the Angolan government or the African government, they don't see that. They're completely blind. They really don't care what it is. You know? So, um, yeah. I hope they will be able to wake up soon and then invest in agriculture because really, really needed, heavily needed. You know, um, so much being produced, we should be completely independent economically, completely, hundred percent. No need to um, depend from importation from from I don't know all this junky food that we're getting uh, from from Europe or from China or America with all this uh, modified uh, genetically modified food you know, Africa is the future Africa is the continent I just want all the leaders in Africa they have to come together they have to do something in order to I mean if they don't have a vision give us this vision I mean not give us this vision but give us this opportunity for us to uh, make things happen because we know we understand how uh, we can make it better the, 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 the country I mean, it's so a shame to see how is the the continent is being run. It's really a shame to see that. But anyway, thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for your listen and yeah, to see to hear my stories. I hope to talk to you next time. Once again, uh, I'm signing out. But please don't forget to subscribe. Um, it'll be really wonderful for your support. See you. Bye bye.